Pete. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Great. When, when you're looking at uh, some of these these defenses you're playing, uh, what's kind of your view of uh, a lot of these teams playing the, like the shell coverage, taking away the deep shots? You see more of that? Uh, I think it's it's a mix. I think the one thing I would say that you see a lot more now is is the variety from a certain defense, meaning that uh, you know a lot of coordinators pay attention to how much how many times they're in maybe this coverage, and then you look at the percentages. And, well, this is 22%, this is 20 this is 18 and then another mix of a couple other things. But I think that uh, teams do a good job mixing it up, and some of that could also be dependent on uh, your personnel maybe trying to take away some, some deeper throws and or the down and distance. Was that like, the case last week? And a lot of, like, a lot of Derek's targets were like underneath stuff. Is that yeah, I think uh, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just say that, uh, you know, I, I could be more aggressive as a play caller. So I'll just say that. Pete, a couple of weeks ago, Derek said we should ask you guys about like his report card. Now you guys are grading him out. How, how have you guys graded him out? Yeah, I think that uh, you know when when you look at it, listen, everybody's got uh, you know every game is different. I think that every game you pay attention to. Hey, here's you know a select group of plays. You know you, you watch the whole film together, but there's obviously a good you know say hey here's ten or twelve clips. I want to make sure we're really looking at. Um, but I think that he's he's doing what we're asking him to do. When you say you should be more aggressive. Uh, is that necessarily true against that kind of defense? I think oh, back to the game earlier this year. Too. Well, I think that, uh, you know, we didn't, there wasn't that many throws downfield. We had the one to Chris, okay. the, the go route, and then uh, the one that AT called. We had a couple other called that, you know, we ended up checking the ball down or uh, didn't get to it. But I think that uh, overall, yeah, came out of that game thinking, yeah, I probably could have given our, our guys some more opportunities downfield. And, uh, you know, we know we, were, we knew we were playing a good defense, and uh, obviously our defense was playing very well. And so, really, we didn't want to we didn't want to turn the ball over in that game and, and give them good field position. Can, can Rashid's speed change some of the, the looks you guys get, or, or even just the depth? Yeah, the... I, I think teams pay attention. You know, as you, I'm not talking specifically this week, but when you watch any defense, a lot of times if you have a guy that's a threat, you know, either sometimes the corners will play off, or maybe they'll roll the coverage to him and have one underneath and one above. So obviously uh, that can be dependent on player as you're studying film. When you watch a certain team on offense against the defense you're getting ready to play and you might say, oh, there's a, a fast receiver and they're trying to double him, take him away, however they're trying to do it. You're, you're facing another, another defense that blitzes a lot and, and obviously the last time against Minnesota, you guys didn't get off to a great start or anything you can take from what you learned from that game? Yes, yeah, I think so. I think uh, obviously that's, uh, you know, getting off the bus, that's what they do. And I think that's, uh, you know, been um, uh, this coordinator's, uh, you know, that's been his style of, and it's aggressive style. And uh, you can see see it on film, it shows up. So obviously we'll have to be on point, making sure that uh, as far as our mic, ID, mic IDs or how we're handling some of those pressures, we got to be on point. I think that, uh, Particularly when you get to, you know, it's all down distances, but when you get to third down as well, you got to be ready for it, and you can see the results that they're getting on third down with turnovers and things like that. On that protection element, like what, what part is the quarterback's responsibility, and what part is like a boy if, he, if he's still involved in that? Yeah, I think it's all all encompassing. It could be based on, uh, you know, the play call, the protection, maybe getting us in a, a different protection. I mean, that's all that's all part of it every week. But I, I think that uh, the communication between the two of those guys. Uh, it really it falls on both of them. He, uh, see the big sack numbers for Kayvon Thibodeau. Uh, what do you think? Kind of what, what does he do? Especially yeah, well, I, I think he rushes the passer yeah. extremely well, and I think that uh, you know when you when you look at him, you see it. You see a variety of um, of different uh, things that he does. He's obviously a guy that uh, is a difference maker for him. So we got to be alert to you know where he is, and uh, he's he's a challenge. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay.